Though the situation varies in each community, the town of Red Rock may likely be the hardest hit. The Technical Standards and Safety Authority condemned the marina pumps just days before the 17th annual Trout Derby kicked off, which forced organizers to alert the 130 anglers to bring their own gas. New standards now require a liquid sensor monitor to be installed with fail-safe capabilities in case of a leak. With a newly built marina building and little else to drive the local economy, Red Rock Mayor Gary Nelson says it's not only the cost, but also the timing of the change that's frustrating. Right now with no industry, we're kind of relying on uh, on the boaters, the tours. And you know, if uh, this association would have came in here last October, say, or early, early in the spring, we'd have had this job all done. We don't want to put pollution in, in the lake. We don't want to pollute the land. So uh, we would have had it done. Public works crews have already begun the groundwork to determine a solution, though the bill might be the backbreaker. Nelson estimates that costs could run between sixty and $90,000 to make the necessary repairs, and the town now sits 20th on a waiting list to get the work carried out. Nipigon Mayor Richard Harvey says they were all surprised by the change, and the timing is unfortunate as they could have easily carried out the repairs with some notice. He says their situation is not nearly as serious as Red Rock's and hopes their marina gas pump could soon be back online. They've come up with a solution. Uh, they've made a proposal to TSSA. It looks like it should be. It's more of a technical issue as near as we can tell, at least for ourselves. So our hope is that we can very quickly get a response from TSSA. They have to give the approval for these changes now. And as soon as we can get TSSA to respond, we should be able to be back up and running quite quickly as far as we can tell. The gas pumps here in Thunder Bay have met TSSA standards. However, the village of Rossport is waiting to hear back from an inspector on their license approval. Each community is doing what they can to support their boaters and get people the fuel that they need. Jordan Milani, TBT News.